Please sit. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I'd like to welcome our graduands whose magnificent achievement and hard work we're here to celebrate. We're also delighted to be joined by so many family members and friends. We welcome you to the university and thank you for the support and encouragement you've given our graduands during their studies. You can, be, you, can, you can be justifiably proud of their achievements, as are their tutors and all the staff in their school and faculty. When those of you graduating here today decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make a major investment in your future. Today that investment is realised. During the course of your studies, you'll have gained knowledge and skills which we hope will help you find success in future years. But also, the way you've balanced a commitment to academic life with other interests and the many competing distractions that this great city of Manchester has to offer will help you find a work-life balance as your career and your life unfold. Most of you will have formed strong, supportive friendships and relationships here which I hope will last for many years to come. In summary, your degree should give you a strong platform on which to build a career and achieve your goals. Your achievement in completing it cannot be overestimated. And there's every reason to be positive about your, the future, even in these challenging times. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognize the value of the piece of paper you'll soon hold in your hand. Manchester's already one of the finest universities in Europe, but we're determined to become one of the best in the world. Our ambitious plan is to lift Manchester into the first rank of virtuosity in higher learning. At the very core of our vision is a major investment in buildings, infrastructure and facilities, which you'll have seen going on around you during your time here, and a commitment to the highest standards in research and scholarship. But it isn't the bricks and mortar, the physical infrastructure, or even the academic achievements that make this university great and successful. It's our staff, our students, our people. During your studies, you have each, in your own way, enriched, shaped, and molded the university to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. By reflecting on your experiences and telling us how we could make them better, you've given us the blueprint to achieve our bold ambition to be amongst the best in the world. So the university is changing and will continue to change for the better because of you. So today is as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution as it is about marking the successful con conclusion of your academic studies. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your success. But this is the beginning of the journey and your association with Manchester, not the end. The return on your investment continues beyond today's celebration and formal ceremonial. Our career service will help you and, support for, and provide support for a further three years, and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you remain in contact with the university, linking you with a community of more than a quarter of a million Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. As alumni, you can also continue to help future students in many ways as ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university. So we sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact with the university. Remember, our doors are always open to you. I'll now ask Professor Brown to speak on behalf of your school.
Firstly, I'd like to add my personal congratulations to all of you who are graduating today. As you have heard, and probably knew before you came here, Manchester has a long and proud history. We are, of course, an internationally leading university, and no more so than electrical and electronic engineering, which, of course, we represent here today. Our university has played host to very well-known engineers and scientists who helped lay the foundations of our subject. For example, we can date back to the work of James Jewell, who derived the unit for energy. His work was done here, and before him, Dalton and many other famous scientists. Indeed, this university was the first to teach electrical and electronic engineering as an academic subject. Electrical engineering has a history here of over 100 years. While we're justly proud of our history, we are very much a dynamic and forward-looking institution with a leading reputation for our research and our teaching. Indeed, league tables have confirmed that the school is once again top of the elite Russell Group of UK universities in our discipline. However, we can always improve, and my first job is to uh, thank our students, particularly those who have provided feedback to us through the years they have been with us. As you know, you'll listen to and will help us progress and improve still further. Electronic and electronic engineering, electrical and electronic engineering covers subjects from the understanding of new materials for electronics devices to mobile communications, robotics, devising green methods for clean energy, to smart power grids, smart cities, indeed seemingly smart anything. This is our discipline and we affect the future of society as a whole. Our research is important. However, you, our students at undergraduate, masters and doctoral level, lie at the heart of what we do. Achieving a degree in electrical electronic engineering is not easy. It requires hard work and, I'm sure for many of you here, at times late night working. I am equally sure you could not achieve the success without the support of friends, families and colleagues that have already been mentioned. But many of those are with you here today. So I would like to ask all our graduates to first stand, please. Stand up. Thank you. Now turn to where your family is sitting, family and friends are sitting, and thank them for all their support with a big round of applause. Thank you. Sit down again, please. Finally, let me say that electrical electronic engineering is indispensable in attacking the major challenges faced by the world, including climate change, in energy provision, sustainability, in medicine, in poverty alleviation, and so many more of the big problems. Please think about these things when you leave here, and when you can, seize these challenges as you move forward from today. As a Manchester graduate, you are particularly well equipped to do so. We are all extremely proud of your achievements so far and wish you very well for the future. Thank you. <laughs> Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Engineering, excuse me, Miles Weston. Robert John Knight. And for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Niskak Edet Ekpengyong. Sonke Andreas Engelken. Dongying Fen. Ibital Gizmala Yusuf.
Peter Andrew James. Zhang Dong Jin. Hang Lee. Chuan Ma. Matheos Pantelli. Sarinya Pasakawi. Robin Preece. Georgius George Sparakidis. Jeffrey Say. Peter Wall. Shi <coughs> Zhong. Wen Thian Zhu. And for the degree of Master of Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, with honours, Isitak Ahmed Imu. Stefan Bakur. Nikos Kontas. Marcus David. <laughs> Roberto Ferdinaz Bautista. <laughs> Goha Iqbal. <laughs> Kevin Karikari. Ferdhouse Kayhead. Faki Manan. Hassan Master. David Morris. Niha Nikat. Kritonas Nikalu. Niall Noel. Joseph Paul Northwood. Alvaro Novoa. Ifosa Charles Osaku. Mohammed Ramley. Kurat. Ulan. Sakib Zahir. And in electrical and electronic engineering with industrial experience with honors, Tudor Balam.
<laughs> Daniel Carlson. Jason David Lee. And in electronic systems engineering, with honours, Maria McAvener. Samuel McLaren. Edward Albert Morris. Sir Tun Tunsell. John Waymont. And in electronic systems engineering with industrial experience with honors, Stephen Joseph Alderman. Joshua Clement. Martin Schuster. And Martin has also been awarded the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. And in Mechatronic Engineering, with honours, Benjamin Cha Hon Kwan. Michael Sean Crossland. Fazil Hussain. Chuckles Felicity Olafibi. Chan Ji Chai. Yit Li Yi Liao. Mohammed Kaluzri. Zulpiri. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Communication Systems Engineering, with honours, Yusuf Bougie. Ahmed Maroon Habib. Mayurat Satimova. Ali Jamil Ali Sultan Sultan. Asil Zan Apashiva. And in electrical and electronic engineering, with honours, Abba Ali Rimami. <laughs> Ibrahim Rashid Al Ashid. <laughs> Hussein Al Safara. Raikan Amirova. Ismet Ashkin. Mahir Bin Hajib. Joseph Buckwell. Chuan Zhen Chen. <laughs> 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 
Mika Chopra. Stefanos Christou. Junaid Da. Shin Dong. Shinonan Feng. Chen Feng. Georgios Philippidis. Lee Yong Ji. Georgios Giorgio. You go. Tamor Haider. Mohamed Joubert Jali. Mohamed Shaquille Jamil. Suman Sarita Jenna. Ting Ji. Yang Jin. Shano Ying Jin. Griffith Daniel Jones. Menaz Kamil Khan. Talgat Kasanov. Jeffrey Kimchumba Posji. Nasuli. Kuzambaya. Abdul Karidi Layli. Hishuan Lui. Nan Lu. James Roberts Lodge. Xiaomin Lu. Xing Lu. Shi Lu. Sadhu Hak Miras. Rory Morris. Mohammed Sayafik. Nasaruddin. Jun Chan. Andre Alexandru Romila. J. 
Jahangir Sarif. Vincent Nicholas Sekara. Shivam Sharma. Maruf Salkia. Jia Song. Tong Sung. Yi Peng Wang. Yu Ji Wang. Xiang Yu Wang. Yulin Wu. Xing Shan. Wei Xin. Hang Young Su. Shea Yu. Shi Chi Zhang. Shu Wei Fei Zhang. And in electrical and electronic engineering, with industrial experience, with honours, Hassan Azal Minhas. And in mechatronic engineering, with honours, Talib Mohammed Talib Ahenna. Ali Iqbal Bajwa. Andrew Chen Luang Chua. Christopher Eno. Bahwani Singh Tomar. And in me mechatronic engineering, with industrial experience, with honours, Pranav Gupta. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, uh, Nisal Aravinam Man Mantharipa. On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements, and I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. I now declare the ceremony closed.